Right, the first, uh, what we're going to do today is uh, stuffed aubergine with black spicy black bean sauce. So the first thing to do is how to uh, get the filling, eat to get uh, how to make the filling, then how to stuff the aubergine. That's the first step. So you break an egg into uh, minced pork. Put a pepper in. Put the oil in. Now, at home, we are not going to mess around with implements. My hands is clean. If I'm going to wash it again. And I'm going to squash the meat. And mix it thoroughly with your hands. And I'm going to use a, about a DSP or corn starch into it and that will bind it together. Just punch it. Okay. Right, the next stage this is the one that requires a bit of hard work. So I'm going to move this one aside first and this one aside first and I'm going to show you how to get the filling together. Put it together and hold it in your hand and mash it down. And this this uh, procedure will bind the meat together. Do it about six seven times. Okay. Now sounds awful, but there's one thing I forgot: a touch of salt. So I'm going to get a touch of salt. Right, I won't need too much salt. All I need is a little sprinkle, and that's why we forgot about it. <laughs> so I'm going to continue that heating action. And you can see it's joined together. It's ready to stuff. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands again. Now the next stage is the aubergine. You top and tail it. And, upon, and depending on the shape of the aubergine, you decide how to cut it. So I like, uh, don't like the skin of the aubergine too much because I find it quite fibrous. So I'm going to take it in strips. So that's equal strips. So I'm taking it in strips. That's a, a way I like my aubergine. Now, because this is a long aubergine, I'm going to take that way, one, then I'm going to use the round for the next dot. So what I want to do is put a cut there, and a cut about, that's a cut we want in there. So you, you open it like a little mouth. Okay, and I'm going to do continue this at about quarter inch with on uh, there you are. So I'll continue on. So this is what I'm looking for. And this long ones, because it's, the round is too small, I'm going to do it the other way. 
So I can do it this way because I'm cooking at home. Uh, uh, you don't necessarily need to have regular shapes. I'm looking at wastage because this way I'm not wasting anything. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is chop up the onions or you can do that earlier on when you're mixing it. But I'll do it as you're cooking at home, do it at the way you feel at the way you feel most comfortable with. Chop the on, uh, spring onions up into small pieces and then mix it with your meat, your stuffing. Mix it in, so you've got a bit of spring onions in your stuffing. Right, the next thing we do is, to, in order to make the stuffing uh, stick to the aubergine, we're going to just wrap the aubergine with the starch, the cornstarch. So I'm going to do that to all of it. You can see where the corn flour is not important because all you need to do is to with the cornstarch is to help it uh, the filling help the filling to adhere to the aubergine that's a good calculation estimation Last bit, I'll make it into a golden angle. Doesn't need to be stuffed. This is called home cooking. You use whatever, the, all the ingredients you have. That's the stuffed aubergine and that's the first stage you have to reach to. Easy way now in a lot of places you shallow fry these aubergines, but in our in today's world we got the use of halogen, and uh, we don't have to fry at home and we don't like frying at home. This is one of the easiest way to do it. I get a stainless steel uh, a stainless steel pan, oil it, give it a good liberal oil as you can see is moving. So that's going to be my base, and this stuff object is going to sit there. The, uh, the way I'm doing these recipes is to make it so easy that if I can do it, literally, you can do it. So what I'm going to do is Put this into a halogen oven at 180 degrees and uh, let the oven do the cooking and the, the, the messy work for me. So I'm going to do is give this a coating of oil so the halogen will treat it like as if it's being fried. 
And now this is ready to go into a halogen oven set at 180 to 200 degrees C. Okay, now uh, the stuff aubergine has been in the oven for about 10 minutes. So we're going to make the sauce now whilst I'm, uh, I'm giving an extra 5 minutes in the oven. First, I put the oil in. That's roughly about a bit too much, I'm going to take it out. About 2 dessert spoonful. Onions goes in. You don't have to wait till it's the oil sizzle, but you can wait till it's sizzle before you put the rest of the thing in. It's sizzling now. I put in the top peppers, the chilies. And the garlic and the black bean sauce. And you just fry until you can set, you will come out centered. Right, you, can, you can smell the uh, spices and the sauce give you a nice scent and that's when I pour in one ramekin of water and another ramekin of water. So I've got two ramekin of water in there. Right, with everything, you cook to your taste. So if you like to eat a bit more salty, you put more salt in it. But if you like to eat a bit more sugar, you put sugar in it. So I'm going to taste it first to see the original taste without sugar or salt. Right. I'm putting sugar in. Always taste it to see to balance it to your taste buds. I need a touch of salt. Just a sprinkle of salt. I'm lowering the heat to let it soak. Up. Right, I'm going to bring the top. Uh, right, that's it. Right, I've taken out the cooked uh, aubergine and you can see because it's cooked in oven, it's how it's shaped. And I'm going to lower the heat and put the aubergine in. I've lowered the heat of the wok and put the aubergine in individually. Right, it's on low heat and it's got the stuff aubergine in there. 
in the sauce to, to, uh, to cook it and uh, flavor it. So I'm using the sauce to over it. And I'm going to switch on the baking heat. Now you can use tikkana or I prefer without tikkana. This is a Malaysian way of eating. They don't like too much tikkana. I'm going to cover it. And it will probably be about two or three minutes and it should be ready. Okay, and that's cooked and finished. 